Hello everyone, Regnella here with another Monster Hunter Freedom Night video. Last time we drove the Congas to extinction. Sorry, not sorry. And today, I'm thinking that we're going to do some big game. This is um, actually something I'm going to take a bit more seriously. Because if you're not prepared, this could really ruin your day. And that is, uh, we're going to be taking on the Yi and Kutku. Now, this guy is one of the most erratic monsters and so it's really hard to get a read on this guy. And as a safety thing, in fact, I did this before the last video, but I forgot to mention it, but uh, I had upgraded my armor rating for a few of my pieces with the um, uh, armor screws that I had. So uh, do, do a lot of mining over at the farm when you can. It will really help you in, in the days to come. So. The Yin Kutku is a fire-breathing uh, wavern, flying wavern, and he's very sensitive to sound. And I believe this is going to be the first monster in this game where we come across the instance of rage mode, which means that they get really angry and they're they're just completely erratic. And the worst part about this is that we're doing it in the jungle zone. And the reason for that is pretty simple. The trees. Trees don't seem like a big thing in this game until you realize that they can prevent you from seeing just enough to be a problem. But it isn't nearly as bad as the old jungle in the previous Monster Hunter games. So there's that to consider. Now, I don't remember where the Yin Kaku spawns in at. I'm thinking it's Area 8. Um... Let's hope. Okay, maybe area six. So I just gotta run around. And uh, just a uh, fast forward update. My button still isn't working during quests. So I'm, I'm a bit upset about that. Okay, and here's Yi and Kaku. So pink and blue. Uh, he's actually quite goofy. But don't underestimate him. Because he could uh, very much ruin your day. And you want to have some fairly decent armor. In fact, I wanted to improve my armor a little bit. Uh, like, get get new armor that's a little bit stronger. But I got lazy. Now, this technique right here, he doesn't use often when he's not in rage mode. It's usually... Usually he has to get mad first. So I'm going to hit him with a paintball. And what this will do is... Uh, well, if you weren't paying attention in a couple previous videos, it will allow me to track him. That's very important because, oh wow, uh, because he can fly and I can't. Okay, this is um, this is going to be a bit more of a challenge than I thought because I thought my weapon would at least uh, not bounce. So I'm going to need to be pretty cautious here. And this is also the first instance where you realize, wow, the hitboxes are kind of messed up. Uh, because you could swear that, uh, oh god. And that's one of the reasons why he's kind of an unpredictable monster, by the way. Oh man, that's not good. So when he turns to you, that's kind of a cue to, um, run. Just, uh, you don't need to run far away, just run out of his direct line of sight because there's a good chance he's going to run either up to you or he's going to do what we monster hunters like to call the retard run, which uh, he runs super goofily and just looks really dumb. And he's not in rage mode yet, but I suspect that he's going to get there real soon. This monster's weak point is his head, so it's a, actually a good idea to hit him in the face but that's also uh, a problem because that puts you directly in front of him now this monster sensitivity to sound is both a double-edged sword because I have sonic bombs and the sonic bombs can be used to stun him briefly but if you do that he goes immediately into rage mode so use that with caution Okay, 
the, that tail attack can get you by surprise too. So I'm trying really hard not to be too close. Okay, now he's in rage mode. And if you're looking closely, he's actually doing some chip damage. And I think he's weak already. Um, so when he, when the Yin Kaku gets weak, his, uh, his little ears, the little disc thing on his head, it pins back. And so this is, uh, I find a little bit unusual. I thought he'd have more resilience in this. And as you can see how fast he moves in rage mode, that's why you want to be careful around this guy. He's, he's kind of, his movement patterns are kind of hard to pin down. And, well, <laughs> he can, uh, he can hit like a freight train sometimes. Okay, there we go. That was um, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Uh, at this stage of the game, I get very, I guess, skittish around monsters of this, of this size. So, this was pretty fortunate. Now, this is one of the first monsters where you might get knocked out and sent back to base camp. Which, if that happens, don't worry. Just um, be sure you're aware of what he's... Um, kind of doing in the moment so if he starts to spin kind of roll out of the way if he starts to turn to you roll out of his line of sight because there's a good chance that uh, he's going to hit you either with his uh, tail if he's spinning around or he will run up to you and do some damage to you there so yeah that was the yin kaku and wow this guy uh took a little nearly as strong as i thought it was going to be but then again my weapon is uh, improved so anyways thank you so much for watching and if you want to see some of my other work, click on the annotations that will be featured at the end of this video. And I will see you next video. Take care, people.